you're from Seattle? Uh, yes. Is this your first time here? <laughs> Just have fun. Just have fun. Just really enjoy. Look at the people. Look, the beauty is everywhere. Yes. I mean, it's everywhere. Even the the kids, everyone. It's yeah, fantastic. I, uh, I love it. And talk with the person. You know, when, if you take some picture, talk with them. Yes. The interaction is so important. Yes. Not like uh, take picture and fly by. It's just it's just take a picture and just have fun with the person. I've never been to a con in the UK, so how do you compare conventions, at least this one that you've been to and the ones over there? Like, is there anything different or is it basically the same? It's a lot bigger in America. It's basically the same, but the, the sheer scale of this one is so much bigger to one in England. I've been to one, a couple of cons in London that have had like a thousand people. Yeah. They've been very good because, you know, it's more homely, like, you know, it's a smaller community, but the scale of this, you know, the amount of cosplay and the amount of people just walking around is such a good experience in comparison. Is there something that you saw here that you never thought you would see? Oh, I, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest with you. It's just okay. everything, like, everything and more of what I was expecting, you know, all this, all the different people walking around, all the stalls, like, all the free stuff, it's just so much to it. I'm okay. loving everything here. Yeah. Okay. Well, hang on. You know, I've got some money saved up. I want to do a trip to America. Why not a time at every anime expo? I'm a massive fan of anime, so it's the perfect thing for me. I was so hyped up about it, and I still am. It's been so much fun already. I'm just been loving everything. So you're from the Philippines, so now I've seen videos, and I always they always seem to be in shopping centers. They're, they're not always in shopping centers, are they? No, um, because in the Philippines, shopping centers are actually the main um, hub of entertainment, really. It's okay. like you've got the grocery stores in there, the movie theaters in there, the arcade theaters in there. Right. So everyone's there. Everybody Everybody's there. there. So, but the biggest anime convention there would be in a convention center, or would yeah, it still be in a shopping center? It's still in a shopping center, but at the top floors. The top floors are convention centers. That's designated. Really? But, oh, convention. Oh, convention. Okay, so. Yeah, but to be honest, I think the cosplay event has becoming is becoming already so big that there's actually. You know, actual convention space, like really, space, but not as big as this one yet. Okay. The conventions in Phoenix, like they're not as big, but it's a lot hotter. <laughs> yes. So you really have to be aware of what you're wearing in yes. Phoenix compared to here. Yes. If we um, we went to Phoenix Comic Con, it was actually nice, and but we couldn't wear the, the here there because it would, we would have collapsed from yes. just being so hot. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah. been to Mexican conventions and you've been to American conventions. What's the difference between a Mexican convention and, a, and an American convention? Um, I think Mexican people are more, well, in Guadalajara, they're probably shy. They're more shy? And here, they're really crazy. <laughs> no, really. How's the cosplay scene there versus here? Um, they're catching up. They're catching up? They're really good. Uh -huh. One more. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> So since you go to a lot of conventions on the East Coast, what's the difference between East Coast and West Coast cons? Well, I mean, this is my first West Coast con, so I mean, I think it's just a lot of the fandoms are different, I guess. Fandoms? Well, and more like, like, a lot of the stuff that was really popular, like when I was there, is not popular on this side. 
It's weird. I've been wanting to come to Anime Expo since I was a wee lass. How'd you find out about Anime Expo when you were... Well, I've always really been into the whole anime thing. <laughs> so, ever since I was like 12, 13, I've been like, Oh my gosh, Anime Expo, that's the biggest con on, like, in the, on the West Coast, so I have to go. And I clearly was never old enough or had enough money to go by myself. So, now I'm, that I'm 19, I'm finally able to come and I'm really happy. Wait, have you been to convention in... In Australia, right? Yep, Supernova. I've been to the 2005 and 2006 Supernova. Okay, so how do the conventions there feel compared to conventions here in America? Um, Besides the size? Same density, it's smaller, but the cosplay is much better here, obviously. Okay, now you guys have like artist alley tables, like yes. how we do? Okay, you guys right. have like raves at night, like we do yes. here? Yes. Okay, um, is there anything that strikes you interesting that you did not think about when you went to American Con and you saw something and it just put a light bulb in your head or something? Uh, no, actually, it's um, very close to each other, as in like the themes and everything. So, pretty much the same thing, but different accents? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. High heels, yeah. Also. High, wait, high heels? High heels, yeah. Um. <laughs> Dancer! You went all out. Dude, <laughs> I'm surprised that you're still standing. I've gotten really well practiced at walking in these. <laughs> So, yes, I admit, I got your name wrong. I am so hey, sorry. Cool. I I'm making you. a public YouTube <laughs> apology. I am so sorry. I switched out your name because I switched somebody else and yeah. then it came out like that. My real name is Brittany Valverde. It is not um, uh, Caitlin, from North Caitlin from North Virginia. I am from California. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgive you. It's fine. I'm too terrified to get to the best here because of all the horror stories I've heard. Pennsylvania, let's see, what's out there? Zeg Zegnocon? No, Zegno? Shoot. There's that many conventions that go on around there. No, there's stuff out there. Uh, there's one in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, I've actually never been to that one. Toshio Con or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. I, I don't know if there's one in Philadelphia or not. I think there's a couple in Ohio. Yeah, Ohio Con. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually haven't been to those. This is literally my first convention ever I've been to because because ever since I was like 12 or 13 when I first heard about things, I thought the coolest thing ever was to come to one of these things. Wow. And, and I'm, I'm 25 years old and this is finally my dream come true. I got to see Yuki Kajura live. I mean, this is the, uh, this is why I just was Kasa because this was the first anime I've ever watched that had her music in it. And yesterday was probably one of the most moving experiences I've ever had in my life. Do you guys have any questions about like English cons? I've always yeah. wanted to go. I want to go. Talk to this guy. So what is a good English anime con to go to? Well, MCM. Yeah, MCM. I want to go so one. bad. MCM. A lot of my favorite cosplayers go. Really, so really cool. good. And they see as well, London anime con is pretty good. It's because it's short, there's like a thousand people there at the most. But you've got like J-pop rates and the light alcohol flowing all the time. You know, again, it's just such a nice little community. It's so short. Small. I miss England. It's nice. It's there. just so much. <laughs> Okay, this burger, this drink, it costs eleven fifty. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did not bring Cliff bars today, so I didn't have any food. So I sent a friend to go and get. She's like, food. eat a child instead. That's so much money. I know, I know, but this is my last day of the con. I had Cliff bars the whole weekend, so this is my reward. Uh, a burger, you know. You just dropped some lettuce. That's like twenty five cents right there. Ah, twenty five cents. Twenty five cents. We both from Germany. Oh, you both from Germany. Yeah. yeah. And what part of Germany? Uh, I'm from the north. Oh, from North South. Yeah. So, what is the biggest convention in Germany for anime? Um, just for anime, I think it's Konichi. So, what brought you here to America? Uh, anime, anime Expo. Anime Expo, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how does this feel to you? How does this compare, like German cons to American cons? Besides the size, because obviously, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys kind of freaked out by how big it is? Is it kind of scary? Well, it's better organized. <laughs> I it's very organized. It's more, um, they have more special guests. We don't have, we don't really have those. Oh, okay. And also a lot more guys in cosplay. A lot more. Oh, there's more guys in cosplay yes. here. So, do they do the same thing there? Have artist alley? They have concerts? They have artist panels? Alley, not no, not really. No, I think it's copyright. Yeah, copyright. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but you have dealers. Do you have
up yeah. dances, you know. Like on the book fairs, there's a special uh, area just for uh, mangas and cosplayers to, they, uh, over the years it became really popular and they made a special area just for, for us. Really? Be open and talkative because that's what I noticed too. People in America are much more talkative than Germany. They, really? Yeah, they talk a lot more. <laughs> okay, so in Germany, are people friendly there? Yeah, very friendly, but not as open. Like, not as open? Like that. They're friendly, but you mean you have to poke them a little. Oh, uh, okay. So. Yeah. I saw you last year, and you took my picture, and I was making too. And then I saw you this year. I saw like a glimpse of your face as you were driving into the parking lot. And I figured it out, and I was like, it's going to We had the windows rolled down and everything. And I was like, follow him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm now scared. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. See what happens if you see this is my life. <laughs> there are East Coast and West Coast cons. To be honest, um, people here are polite. They like say, can I please have your photo? That's pretty nice. You need to go to South. They're even more polite in the South. Just hold this camera. Point at me. This random stranger looking at my other book. I'm, somebody bought. Somebody wanted a copy of my book. Yeah, what should I, I write in their book? As to relating to the book itself. No, you can write whatever. I'm just. I, somebody wanted a copy of the book, so I'm going to sign it for her. But I want to write like a message. So I'm going to ask random strangers like yourself what I should write in the book. It should be a good inspiration to get into cosplay. So write down. This is. A, this should be. This should be a good inspiration. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's good inspiration and good examples. Good inspiration for your cosplay. And I can't write very well, so I scribble stuff. For winning a copy of the book, you will get a copy in the mail. Okay, bye. Hannah, I'm sorry. P.S. Thing, I forgot. Adios. This is James. James has covered a book. James has to sign a book too. Okay, so you have the book. We'll open this up, and you get to sign. So Hannah, you got me to sign. You got to cover the book to sign, and you got a random Sebastian Cosper to sign. So yeah.